Oh, good morning. Yeah, I'll be coming to school again, so that'll be nice. I caused everyone some real trouble. I'm sorry. No, sorry isn't quite right. What I mean to say is, thank you. My mother's back to work already. The maids are being really supportive, and I think things are going even smoother than before. I wonder if I was trying too hard. I may have been too caught up in the idea that I had to do everything myself. Ever since the incident, I feel like I can think about these things more calmly. But it's still kind of embarrassing. You guys saw everything, even the things I didn't want to admit. I'd like to believe that. Yukiko! Oh, it's Chie! Well, I'll talk to you later. Sorry to keep you waiting. The soap was yours, right, Chie? Thanks! Oh, that smells so good! These instant noodles are just the thing to help me through club! How much longer do I have to wait on this? It still needs a few minutes. So why are we here? Oh yeah, we were gonna ask Yukiko what happened. Yukiko-san, I hate to bring up stuff you'd rather not think about, but I need to ask you again. Did you recall anything about when you got kidnapped? No. I thought I might remember something if I let it sit for a while, but as time passes, it only gets hazier. I think... the doorbell rang at the entrance, and someone called for me. But when I woke up after that, I was already in the castle. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. But does this mean her visitor is the culprit? I don't know. If it's true, then that's one daring criminal. What kind of killer would ring the doorbell? The police are probably looking for witnesses, but I don't think we can expect much from them. <laughs> As if the culprit wore bright yellow clothes at the scene of the crime. wonder why whoever it is would do stuff like this. We won't know until we confront him ourselves. But we can be sure of one thing. It's no coincidence that people keep ending up in that place. Someone on our side is definitely kidnapping them and throwing them into the TV. It's murder, all right. Oh yeah, we never told you. This guy and me are gonna catch the culprit ourselves. The police are out of their league on this case, but we got personas. Um... I'm helping out, too! I 
can't believe someone would throw people into a place like that. I'm gonna sock whoever's doing this. Chie. Let me help too. I want to know why this is happening. Especially if someone hates me so much they want to kill me. I don't want to run away from myself anymore. All right. Then let's all work together and catch this asshole. Agreed. gonna find them we don't have a single lead yet I'm the third one to be targeted so far but I have a feeling this isn't the end of it if we had an idea of who might be targeted next wouldn't we have an advantage over the killer so we'll outsmart them huh yeah that might work okay so let's see if we can figure out what ties the victims together first there was that announcer Mayumi Yamano second was Saki Konishi senpai Third, was Yukiko Amagi. What do they all have in common? Bingo. Plus, they're all women. How dare he target females! Now that's unforgivable. The culprit's gotta be some kind of pervert. Also, what about this? The second and third victims had some sort of connection to the first one. Hey, that's right! Yukiko and Saki-senpai both had connections to that announcer! That's true. Then, does that mean females connected in some way to Miss Yamano's case are being targeted? I think that's a safe assumption for now. There's another angle we can take, too. If another person disappears... You think they'd be on that Midnight Channel? That happened right before Yukiko was kidnapped, too! Yeah. It's hard to tell who at first, but what's important is, it's happened before the victims disappeared. Kind of like a ransom note. We still don't know why that happens, but we'll have to rely on it for now. The next time it rains. By the way, aren't those done by now? Oh, that's right! Chow time! Hey, could I try just a little bit of that? Just one tiny bite? Hands off the soba, pal! Go get your own if you want some! Okay, just one bite, got it? Do you want to try some? It's so good! The aroma, the flavor, and the texture all combined. This is perfect! I hope you guys understand what this means! Oh, wait, 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 stop! I'm sorry! I'll buy you steak! It'll be on me! You hear me? The very best! Steak? My tofu. Come on, Yukiko! There's steak in it for us now! We can eat instant noodles anytime we want, right? Well, as long as it isn't too fatty. Okay, we've reached the verdict. You are hereby sentenced to buying a steak. What 
wouldn't be too fatty. Filet? Ooh, filet sounds nice and expensive. Filet, 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 filet mignon. Hey, you've got a pony up too. You're just as much to blame. Man, talk about great timing. We just started serving grilled steak today. We're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. That's just a yakisoba griddle. Oh well, steak is steak. It's far from a filet steak, though. Yukiko, are you okay with this? It's not too heavy for you? I'll eat it. I'm still mad. So back on topic, I wonder what kind of person the culprit is. If you focus just on the announcer's case, it seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was her lover's wife. But Masuzu Hiragi had a solid alibi, didn't she? And it seemed like she was already separated from her husband. Really? You know an awful lot about this. Okay, what about the second case? Saki-senpai. She found the announcer's body. Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target senpai? Wait, you're saying senpai and that Yamano lady knew each other? Senpai never told me anything like that. Maybe it was to keep her quiet? She could have noticed something that the culprit left at the scene. But the killer just threw the announcer into a TV, right? I don't think he would have left evidence the police, much less a high school student, would catch. Yeah, exactly. Man, I thought the countryside would be a snooze. But it's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. Oh, they updated the menu. Huh? Isn't he that detective? Hey, you were at Dojima-san's. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, wait. Hey, this is great timing after all. Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Could you pass that on to Nanako-chan? Yo, I'm Adachi, Dojima-san's gopher. Uh, I mean, his partner. Are you this busy every day? Huh? Oh, well, the public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases, but we can't leave it at that. Sorry to butt in, but could it be that the killer targeted Saki-senpai in order to silence her? Um, you sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes! <laughs> of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. If the killer was trying to silence her, there might have been something at the scene only she would have understood. Which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konishi. Nothing like that points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh, I might have stumbled across something here. Wait, are you listening to all that? Crap, me and my big mouth. Uh, don't tell anyone I said any of that, or Dojima-san will flay me alive. <clears throat> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. Uh, see ya! You were right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. Could you shut up about the steak for five seconds? Wow, this really is inside the TV. It's Teddy. And it wasn't a dream. Are you feeling better, Yuki-chan? I did what you said. I've been a good bear. Oh, I see. Good boy. <laughs> oh, well, this bear's part of the reason we want to find the culprit. I'm one of the group now, too. Let's work together, okay? Yep. I was thinking the same thing. That's why I got these ready for you, Yuki-chan. Oh, so these are what everyone's wearing. Thank you, Teddy. You're right. It's just as if the fog doesn't exist. Hey, tell me something. How come you have so many pairs of glasses? Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them. 
I've lived here for a long time, so I came up with some ways to be comfortable here. I see. But don't you need a pair? Ooh, good point. Another great question. Listen to this. My eyes themselves are lenses. You didn't know? Of course not. Why are you being so mean? You act like you're not interested. I'm a really dexterous bear. See how smoothly my fingers move? What am I even looking at? Ow! Hmm? You dropped something. Oh, that's a pair I kind of screwed up on. Ooh. <laughs> Y Yukiko? <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> do you like that one, Yuki-chan? I want to wear this one. It's even got a nose guard. Oh, no you don't! How very unfortunate. That pair doesn't have the right lenses in. Guess I should have made an actual pair. Ah, too bad. Here, Chie, your turn. <sighs> Man. All right, fine. How did it come to this? Yukiko-san? Hello? There goes one of Yukiko's laughing fits. I never thought she'd do it when someone besides me was around. These stupid glasses are useless for investigating. I mean, what the hell's this nose for anyway? Nice work, huh? That's what happens when you guys leave me here alone and I get bored. Well, I'm glad that she's in high spirits again, I guess. <laughs> oh, Chie, the look on your face. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I can't stop <laughs> Oh, oh, my stomach. <laughs> The fourth and the fifth. I think I might be able to get the fourth and the fifth off. Really? Really? What, you don't believe me? It's always cancelled. Not every year. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Go on a trip? Uh, well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip! Hmm. All right, all right. Then we need to think of some place to go. How about you? You want to come along with us? Yeah, let's all go together. <laughs> Looks like Nanako wants us all to go. Let's bring box lunches. Hmm? Yeah, good idea. We're always eating side dishes for dinner. But uh, I can't cook, and Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. Hmm. Well, it'll work out. That's what we got this guy for, huh, Nanako? Lunches! <laughs>